Okay, I want this uh -oh. word out. I want that tab in. Okay, so we've got we've got this shared. All right, so let's see. Let me see um uh, more subs for the lifesavers. <laughs> All right, give me a one through five in the chat of how you're feeling right now about AP World. And as you guys do that, I'm gonna get set up and we're gonna start playing in a minute. So I kind of want to see how long this lag is too. So give me a one to five. How are you feeling right now if you had to take the AP World exam Ooh. tonight or tomorrow morning? Uh oh. Ones and twos, zero. Negative at that. Come on, Dylan. <laughs> All right. Cool. Yeah, if you're using the mobile app, you're it will show up. The questions will show up on the mobile app. You, you know, you won't be able to like see our faces there. The video is not going to be there, but the questions will be there. It should be. Oh, okay. Well, we'll do our best. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to go ahead and make this quiz Ooh. live. Counter. So now you should see the first question is up. We're going to start timing down. Whoa, new format. Yeah, man. We are in the process of rebuilding. So the first question is going to appear for you to answer in about 15 seconds, or it looks like it's already up. We're getting the top 10 scores already. Oh, wow. Here we go. I guess we're just jumping right in. <laughs> Check this out. All right, so we've got, let's see. Can we see my whole? The students? Yeah, my, right. my, my app just crashed me out as well. All right, so it looks like the web app is where we need to be. So if you're on app.5.me, that's the place to be because the the mobile app itself is not quite ready. So the mobile app it might be crashing a bit, um, which we know. So we are that will be fixed for next week, the mobile app. So just play on the website that Tom just put. Yeah. Um, but this is all good to know. This is why we're doing this now, so that this doesn't mm -hmm. go down like Kahoot did. Works on the computer tonight. We'll be fixed for mobile. My mom crashed. That's not good. Um, cool. Um, ben, you want to talk about this question really quick? All right. So if you're spending any time studying for the foundational period, you're kind of wasting your time. It's 5% of the test. But the, one of the very first things um, that they want you to know, and really in 1.1 is Paleolithic stuff. 1.2 is Neolithic stuff. So uh, one of the outliers is always the pastoralists. So for them, just kind of think of them as the in-between people that are still moving around. And so it's way more likely that they're going to be spreading any technology or anything uh, between communities, including diseases or anything like that. So um, uh, when, when I was putting this together, this is all lifted directly off uh, the college board stuff. So um, for foundational, you really shouldn't spend too much time on this, which is why I mm -hmm. kind of just got it out of the way with these 15. So, but yeah, that's all I'm going for on this one is, you know, what are they up to? What, what, what good can they do in really connecting you with pastoralist? Oh, here we go. Yeah, zoom. I couldn't see down. Yeah, I know. I was like, let me zoom out a little bit. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Better? Oh, yeah. All right, let me zoom out a little bit. Good to know. All right, so look, we're already figuring some stuff out. All right, so now we can actually see the question and the answer. I guess I could zoom in a little bit more. And should schools, like, get this cleared, like, through any type of weird firewall they may have set up? Um, That's a good question. If you're not sure if your school Wi-Fi will allow it, you could shoot us an email and we could try to work through it with you. Um, I'm not entirely sure what goes on in school tech departments. A lot of times you, I get YouTube a lot when I, when I was doing Facebook live before, um, Stanos is it right? Uh, I, uh, Facebook live. Uh, the one that people complained the least about was when I did Periscope. And I think that was the first year, but I, I mean, there were only like 800 people that year. So maybe there were just mm -hmm. less people to complain. Cool. At least right. not what's blocked and what's not. So. Good to know. Yeah. All right. Let's go to the next question. Let's do it. Question two. Law code from this period is synonymous with the phrase an eye for an eye. Can we play trivia already? Yes. Oh, man. They don't like our banter. <laughs> go watch Game of Thrones or something. You don't have to be here. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. How, how am I? How am I? Can I answer on this? I don't see it. Um, you are you. You'd have to be in the web app. 
Oh, never mind. I'm not. All right. Good to know that it's laggy. Well, the good thing is that we'll we'll have that part fixed for next week. We'll be using something different. Um, all right. So question two looks like is up. Y'all know this stuff. This is good. Yeah, that's good. I mean, it's it's bad enough that I had to like start googling around for other law codes. I mean, in in this, they added the the Ernamu law code. Mm. Uh, those are just the two examples they give. Hammurabi is the easy eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. You know, different punishments for different um, class classes of people, which gets you into what surplus has done and and stratification. And so there's a lot there's a lot packed into Hammurabi. Totally. Yeah. Probably most students read it in the first like week of school. Or All right. yeah, every year since they've been Perfect. in school, I think. Yeah, right. Great. Okay. Let's head to question three. Maybe not keep the people waiting. All right. <laughs> Ashley in first place. Yeah. Which of the following was used to help humans adapt to new colder climates? Let's see how you do. Accumulating answers. The best part is, y'all, you're going to get, like, streaks, you know? Like, the more you get right in a row, the higher points you're going to get. And then our, we're going to see if we can break your streak. Looks like so far, not so much, where you guys are are really killing it. Also, don't uh, – these are non-stimulus-based, so uh, hopefully in class you've been doing stimulus-based questions, so you know what that implies. But, you know, in the online trivia format, it's kind of hard to have you read a passage or anything like that, so. Totally. That's pretty good. Um so for anyone that's like is at all frustrated by the game, like it looks like someone is like, you know, I don't know, floating cheese. Just tell us in the chat what is it that is frustrating you so that we can fix it for next week. This is right? great, man. Yeah, like we're literally building this for you right now as we go. So, you know, even in the last few days, we've we've adapted a lot of stuff. And so um just let us know like how we can fix it. Um Yeah, they've yeah, got, got a staff of people that are doing this. So anything that's good is good. Yeah. All right, cool. So this question you all got right. Fire, helping humans adapt to new colder climates. Dope. That's another easy one. Again, these, are, these are underhand tosses, so. Yeah. All right, question four. All right. Which of the following belief system originates in the foundations period? Yeah, you get that down in 1.3. It comes up with the writing. It comes up with all the kind of stuff you get from civilization. Uh, so I think I think they don't call it religion in this era. They call it belief systems, but it's kind of setting the stage. There's two really big ones you get in this era. Ooh. Oh, there you go. Got them a little bit. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what just happened? I don't know. The Less people. Are... Maybe the scale changed a bit. Something. All right, so... A few, a few things to remember about Zoroastrianism. Hit us with it. Oh, if they, uh, that one's right on the line. That's that would be a way bigger deal. You would know way more Zoroastrians if Islam had never become a thing. So uh, that's kind of their region for a while. Under the Persians, associate that with Cyrus. He's right on that timeline. Don't don't be married to these timelines that they make. The foundations of classical and that stuff. It's. Uh, kind of arbit it's not arbitrary it's periodization but the periods they'll give you on the test will seem arbitrary they'll they'll jump you from different times so Zoroastrian is right on that line so it depends on your source as to whether that's before 600 after 600 or well before 600 so either way um, totally. that's the only one that's really even close totally uh, for those of you guys asking if you don't know who I am I'm Amanda and I have I'm the founder of Fiveable and I did some maybe you've seen me on YouTube or you know, trying to take down Trevor Packer last year. <laughs> that was me, y'all. Yeah. All right, going to the next question. Question five. What is the name of the time period in which humans existed mostly in hunter-forager bands? We should do a period every period quiz every day until the big live quiz. Yeah, wouldn't that be nice? You want to write questions for us? <laughs> yeah. I did this yeah. in study hall today. Nice. That was fun. Um, yeah, we can definitely do more things. Um, we've also already spent, asked you more questions in the college board will on this period. So, yeah, this is just, we're just testing this out. All right. So it looks like we got to just make sure that you guys are clear about the difference between paleolithic and neolithic. Some of you guys got tripped up. 
Old Stone Age, New Stone Age. Neolithic is code for farming. Just think Neo farming. Uh, Paleo's Old Stone Age. That's all your cavemanish hunter forager bands traveling around, um, you know, living in small groups as opposed to the Neolithic period, which is, you know, the agricultural revolution and irrigation and stratification and all that stuff that comes with that stuff. At least no one picked the dinosaurs. That's good. Woo! No dinosaurs on this test. All right, next question. Migration movement. What major migration movement began in the foundations period and continued on into the next few periods? Ooh. Had to refresh and my score reset. Ooh, that's not good. All right, good to know. There's actually an answer to this that is not one of the options. I just picked one that was, so. Mm, you were, so you were feeling Moana here, you're not wrong. <laughs> Ah, the Bantu. Bantu is another thing that's going to get you a lot of uh, bang for your buck if you if you research or if you study Bantu migrations. It's 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 a big deal in Africa. It's spreading of culture and language and farming and iron and uh, it lasts for several periods. So uh, you can throw a shot in the dark and you know maybe land a, a Bantu migration as a as a point somewhere in an essay. Nice Bantu migration. All right, y'all. So transatlantic is just like not yet. It's too early for that. Yeah, there's there's nothing. Maybe yeah. some weird migratory bird is flying across. But <laughs> <there's>, <laughs> and Australopithecus is so far before this. He got you, though. He got a few of you. Yeah. All right. Question seven. Which of the following counts as a core civilization in the Foundations period? And they list these out. I make a bunch of dumb, stupid maps. I'm sh maybe you've seen them on my website, but uh, go check those out. I mean, it's very visual. You can see what's what's important, what's not. Or the I don't just pick those. I mean, that's what the College Board is saying. Now, luckily, they're switching everything up for next year, which won't affect any of y'all. But uh, yeah, go on there, check to see. Just so, especially in this era, like what what name should pop out at me as something that I should associate with? Okay, these are the core ones. These are the big ones. This mm -hmm. is in each era, I kind of see some MVPs as to as to who's who. And in this one, it's the core, and they're kind of all, I guess, evenly important. Yeah. All right. So it looks like some of you guys got tripped up on Han. Han is not in this time period. So Yeah, Han's later on. <laughs> Han who's, is later on. Ashley? This isn't even fair. Someone, someone named Ashley is killing it, is on their, her way to a five. A lot of kids claiming to be Ashley tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. Everyone's Ashley. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Which of the following happened first? Keep mm -hmm. in mind, y'all, you don't necessarily need to know dates, but you no definitely need to know the order of the events. Yeah. So even though, like, you know, you can see a list of dates to know, even on, on a fiveable site, those are just sort of like telling you these are like kind of the important events, but you got to make sure to, um, you know, you got to make sure to to really just know the order of the events. Yeah, Ooh, I guess this is what what they call on uh, HQ trivia savage question. Look at how Always many savage. streaks we just killed. <laughs> I wish we could see the number of streaks were killed. I'm gonna write that down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. If, if if you could get it to have like you know I don't know <laughs> if that guy's got savage uh, copyrighted and it's kind of a insensitive term, but. If you could put yeah. anything like that for anything that like broke a streak. I apologize. All right. So really quick, do you want to explain this one? Uh, yeah, this is, I mean, I, this is me and I cherry pick this. I make these things called that I call time grids just cause it's one of the best kids I ever had years and years ago. Uh, she was super smart and she's like, I know when things are and I know where things are, but I don't know when and where things are compared to when and where other things are. And so I made one of these and then I made one for each era last year. Mm -hmm. Um, and this is the one for foundation. It's just anything I found in there, tried to place it so you can kind of look and see, okay, here's what's going on here versus there. Uh, Cause it's sometimes weird to see like, you know, how many people are alive, how many important people you need to know that are alive in 550 BC. It's like six or uh, you know, at other times or they are happening or empires that uh, didn't exist at all that you might think yeah. existed with each other. So for this one, cuneiform is up front. Uh, it it was the old I think it's the oldest thing on that time grid. Mm, yeah, uh, maybe the oldest thing in foundations that you need to know. You know, beyond some cave art somewhere or something. Cool. Um, can you please share the chart? Yeah, maybe we can get maybe he can like tweet out the chart later. 
I also jinxed Ashley. I apologize. Oh, bye, Ashley. Not even in the top 10. Now we got Nerdy Gamer 314. All right. Next. Let's go. What percentage of AP World History exam covers information from the foundations period? Oh, easy. We got gave you the answer to this already. There are 15 questions in this little game. We're just playing a mini game here. Um, if you guys can do us a favor, too, if you have suggestions for how to make this better, shoot us an email. That is, like, one of the best ways to connect with us right now or hit us up on Twitter because this chat is going to go really fast, so it's hard to keep up. So if you shoot us an email to – if you've got some ideas, we want to take them and, and build them. We want to create the thing that you have in mind. All right. So a few of you guys got this wrong. Talked about this at the beginning. This time period is like this much of the exam. 5%. Yeah. It's it's really, I mean, you can get, you can get lost in this. You, I mean, if you start, when I used to study, I would start at the beginning, and that's not necessarily the best spot. Because if you're just an expert on the Indus Valley civilization, that's great. But your odds are not going to get anything on that or, or anything out of that. So, you know, for this, for 5%, get Neolithic, know the main civilizations, know uh, Hinduism, Judaism, Zoroastrianism, and maybe social stratification. So, and then move on. Don't waste okay. your time. That makes sense. All right. Um, it's 5% of overall. Yeah. Next oh, question. Thanks, Dylan Black. I see you a lot on Twitter. Yeah. All right. Next question is up. Oh, the phone is not a place. Hmm. All right. Which the phone was not a place. I clicked the wrong one. Oh, oh man. Y'all hate on Papua New Guinea. Come you on. Do it too. <laughs> All right. So you want to explain this? Uh, sorry, Ashley. It looks like she reset her score. Um, yeah, Southern China. It's uh, I'm just being mean. It's it was northern. It's kind of mid to northern China rather than southern China in this era. So uh, that's where you're gonna find the earliest uh, Chinese agricultural villages. Papua New Guinea is a foundational place. Uh, part of the problem with this whole era is it's so people keep finding new stuff every day. So I, I, I even quit going back and updating a lot of the stuff like f every fire was found and then, Oh no, it's a hundred thousand years earlier. So uh, Papua New Guinea is a place where they do keep finding stuff as to their uh, one of the spots where agricultural villages emerged. Yeah. Someone asked, how did people get to that Island canoes boats? Moana. People are, because humans are geniuses. They start building stuff when they need something, you know? I want to get across this water. I got to build a way to get there. Yeah. You know, we want to play trivia and have it not fail. Let's build it. <laughs> Same premise. Same thing. <laughs> All right, question 11. Uh, which of these writing forms emerged in this time period? So yeah, writing's another big thing. I mean, that's why history matters. That's why people know things beyond archaeology. So, so it's kind of important. It's kind of a big deal. It's literally what you're looking at right now. <laughs> that's funny. There you go. All right, nice. You guys you got more nuts. Dope. Got any fun facts about Kweepu? Um. It, it wasn't until recently that a lot of that stuff got translated into uh, what it means. But I mean, they're doing census. I mean, you could run to the front of a battle with a bunch of ropes and hand them to a guy and then he would know, okay, I need to move our troops this way or that way. So uh, it seems ridiculous, like to me anyway, just culturally insensitive me just to be like, oh, you're tying a bunch of knots. But yeah, that doesn't erase. Like if you know the spacing and you know what the knots mean and in, in regards yeah. to what, it's a pretty genius way of doing it. And yeah. so, uh, yeah, that's a, that's a South American uh, thing that goes all the way up to the Incas. I mean, there a lot of that was destroyed by the Spanish, but a lot of it wasn't. So, I mean, you can Google okay. around and see some really nice ones. Yeah, that's cool. Maybe they'll have that on like Duolingo one day. <laughs> I, that bird yells at me too. I quit. I tried to learn Russian, and I just it was it was yelling at me in Russian, which is even scarier than normal. So, <laughs> all right. So, it looks like there's only actually four humans that you need to know from this time period. Which of these is not one of those? 
This is by my guesstimation. Which is... Which is not good. <laughs> it must be kind of good. It's kind of good. It's not Nerdy yeah. Gamer 314 good, but it's okay. <laughs> I know who's gonna who's gonna take down Nerdy Gamer 314. Is anyone gonna get there? All right. So uh, tell us about this question. What's wrong in there? Uh, that's something I do. If you look at the bottom of each page, uh, you know, foundations, classical, whatever. Uh, I tried to go through the curriculum and do. It's kind of oh. not cool. And I uh, dropped down uh, in history. So there it is. In history circles to kind of pick people that are super important. It's more trends and stuff like that. But um, at your age and at my age, it was easier for me to, um, to like know people and put them in a story. So I, I went back through the curriculum and all the, and those Ernamu, Hammurabi, Zoroaster, and I think Abraham for, for, um, uh, Judaism are the people that I figured you should know. Kung Fu Tzu mm -hmm. or Confucius is not till next era. So yeah. Wrong time period. Yeah. Okay. So it looks like the, <laughs> looks like the time, the, the questions are freaking out right now. Good to know. The little graph is like changing. All right, guys, we have three more questions left. Stick with us. Which of the following correctly matches the architecture with the civilization that created it? If you want to answer questions, you got to be inside of our, our platform, inside of the web app. So I'll put the link in again. Me. So you got to go in there to answer. The mobile app will work next week as well. You can download the mobile app now. It's just crashing right now for reasons that we will fix. I'm about to rage quit. Why are you rage quitting? Don't rage quit. Now's not the time to rage quit, y'all. All right, so Ziggurat, Mesopotamia. Yeah, that's that's it. Uh, the, the one at Ur is the nicest one. Herodotus talked about them. Uh, I mean, they're still around. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, big, monu the, there's a bit on monumental architecture. All they mention, I think, are ziggurats and pyramids. So if you know those as examples, I mean the pyramids um, for Egypt. Cool. But so literally true. just know the fact. Yeah, I, the early stuff, it's, it's. I, don't, I mean, I don't, I don't. Yeah. It, think of how much time you're gonna spend studying for this. If it's a hundred minutes, if you're gonna spend uh, an hour and a half studying for this, spend five minutes on this. Like yep. it's five percent, so it's it's really just not worth your time, you know, rebuilding a ziggurat in your backyard when <laughs> yeah, the BBQ is on the Mughal Empire. I think when I was in like sixth grade, I built like a massive like irrigation system for no reason other than to have a box of dirt to bring to school. Apparently, I went to school. I just did it in the yard. And just water is fun. <laughs> I literally I'm, brought I'm clearly not one of these geniuses from back. Then. <laughs> All right. Uh, which region is the focal point of the foundations period? What region of the world are we talking about here for the most part? There's one area that's kind of, it comes up over and over and over and over. Ooh. You could argue, you could argue. Oh, actually. We have a new first place. Rebecca Dawson is up top now. Will she stay there for the last question? That's like, that sounds like a, a superhero's like pseudonym, Rebecca Dawson. Sure. All right, so we've got uh, most of you guys answered Middle East. Just don't forget, there are things happening in these other regions, you know, but for the most part, we're really focused on the Middle East in this time period. Yeah, if I had to pick a downtown, I mean, that's that's farming, that's writing, that's uh, Judaism, that's Zoroastrian, that's uh, pyramids and ziggurat. I mean, it just iron the you know the hittites you know if you're still in if you're counting uh turkey up there so all of that is right there and, and the other stuff is all around but um that's the one i went to what's your question carly stonehenge is a, is a big stack of rocks in northern england <laughs> all right right next to the highway if you ever go like it's kind of this majestic ancient thing and then there's just trucks driving by right next to you <laughs> Um, dope. All right. Last question. Actually, you know, I didn't, if you're, I guess you could do this. If you put in the questions tab for us, any of your other suggestions, um, uh, about playing trivia, you know, just like, give us your, give us your opinions, give us your thoughts. We want to know what it was like for you to play. All right. Last one during the Neolithic period, what allowed for people to specialize in different forms of labor? Dun, dun, dun. 
why what's what's the reason why we're not all you know farming job now yeah is anyone going to be able to bring down Rebecca Dawson in the last question? No, she's not, like she's not catchable at this point. Doesn't look like it. Woo! Yeah, that was All right. one. Yeah, this was good. All right, so yep, you know when you have more food, not everybody has to farm. Yeah, it's weird that the the questions keep going down like that. Um, cool. Please check the questions. I saw some good ones. Oh yeah, well okay, we'll open up the questions. All right, so. Um, the game, this, this 15 question game isn't going to go anywhere. You can refresh it. So I'm going to hit end on this, on the, the game itself. I wonder what it'll do. Okay. So it just sort of like pulls out. Um, but you can actually see explanations for all those questions. You can go back and see which ones you got wrong and you can read why you can read, take the whole quiz and practice it back. Um, and that can, yeah. So like you can, um, you can play it out. Yeah. All right. So you want to answer like a couple questions on here? Yeah. All right. This one. Can we please have a live? Oh, here's this one says, can we please have a live session for the important concepts we were supposed to know for the AP exam? Yes. I'm going to be live like between myself and Patrick Lassiter, who's another like AP world teacher that does YouTube videos. We're going to be live for six different cram sessions between cool. Friday and the exam, one on multiple choice, on short answer, LEQ, DBQ, and then I'm going to do a two-hour review of all of world history in two in two hours. All right, so um, hit us up next week for that. If you're not a 5 plus member, definitely consider joining. It's five bucks to come to all the sessions. So. And the game next week will be free. The big game is uh, a week from yeah. now. Big game is free. And uh, let's see. Big game is free next week. Anyone can play. All you got to do is just create a five bull account to play. So just like you were logged in today. And for some of you guys that were also like, can the game be longer? Next week's game is definitely going to be longer. And um, what do we have? 75 questions. Uh, so, uh, maybe more, maybe into 80. It should, I'm thinking it'll be about an hour, but maybe eight, an hour to 90 minutes looking at how long we went here. But yeah. And I think we can also maybe just do less of the like in between stuff too. Yeah. And for a lot of them, you know, it's I, cool. I shouldn't have to tell you like Muhammad was or whatever. You yeah. Know. Um, yeah. And so, so some of you guys asking about the 50 plus membership, it's, you can just, I'll put the link in here and then we can answer another question. Um, yeah. uh, okay. So let's see, we have, is there going to be trivia for every period? Probably not. Let's see. Uh, looking for a good one. I'm not seeing, maybe I'm not seeing I'm just seeing people just talk about each other, which is fun. Yeah. Next week, there's not going to be a chat for the game. Uh, At least not that we're going to look be watching because it's going to get way too crazy with yeah. 10,000 people. Um, yes, we know we need more mods. So if you want to be a viable moderator, let us know. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Damn. Okay. To start banning people. Anyways, um, app.fible.me slash five. All right. Anyways, um, yeah. See, like, but like, this is why. Yeah, five will plus only chat. Maybe something like that. We'll, we'll figure it out. Okay. All right. So Dana. we'll we'll go through your your feedback. Post it in the questions tab if you have any other comments about just like. How did this go? What did it feel like playing? If you have ideas around, you know, timing of things, what you want to see on your screen, anything like that, let us know so that we can fix it. We're going to keep building out, you know, so that when you come play next, uh, next Monday, it'll be even better. Yeah. And if it doesn't work, or I mean, if it, you know, if there's a lag or a slight lag, stick with it. I mean, it's worth it just to review. Uh, anything you're doing to review at this point is good. Uh, yeah. So, you know, what better way than to get some free pizza or free stickers? Yeah. Or... yeah. Not to mention the winners next time get like 
pizza party for the whole class. Imagine being the person that wins a pizza party for your whole class. That's a fast That's pretty, track. Pretty awesome to be able to say lunch is on me after this, guys. Don't worry. Totally. All right, y'all. So we're going to be out. We're going to um, end the broadcast. So just, you know, hit us up again if you have any suggestions and check out freemanpedia.com. Dot com. Dot com. Yeah. There's so much good stuff that you could spend hours just like floating around that site. Feel free. Um, that's that's why it's there. Cool. All right. So we'll see you guys later. Thanks, Ben. All right. Thank you. Bye. See ya.